then the PlayStation came out, it was like, <laughs> I can't even explain it. It was literally like, it was, it was the best. 1994 saw the birth of the Sony PlayStation. Not only would it redefine gaming, it was also the first console of its kind to shift over a hundred million units in under a decade. Up until that point, everyone had been used to playing pixel-based games. They all looked the same. Suddenly, you were into a 3D world, a 3D arena with the PlayStation. It was really like nothing that had ever come before. But how it came to be is another story. Nintendo approached Sony basically so to create effectively like a Nintendo CD drive to compete with what Sega were doing with the Mega Drive. And the original name for that was going to be the Nintendo PlayStation. However, in a twist of fate, Nintendo pulled the plug on Sony, partnering with Philips, making Sony angry. Turns out they wouldn't like Sony when they're angry. Sony had this crash course in game console development and creation, and they took all that knowledge and then took their own approach with the Sony PlayStation. This was such big news, it made the news. The existing market leaders, Sega and Nintendo, are to face a head-on challenge from Sony and its new PlayStation product. And in the war of the consoles, 90s gamers were about to vote with their fingers and thumbs, changing the gaming landscape forever. This is the point when the console came of age. Look, jet black discs. You feel like you're a grown-up playing a grown-up game like Grand Theft Auto, which has got rude words in and violence and stuff, and it's on a black disc. I know this isn't a children's product. This is a toy for grown-ups. Sony had set out its stall right through to its era-defining ads. Mario World, it wasn't. They didn't really even show a great deal of the gameplay. In fact, they went so far as basically to create a whole campaign that didn't show the console or the games at all. It was all just about creating an identity, an edgy, new, 90s identity for the PlayStation. I have commanded armies and conquered worlds. And so, in achieving these things, I've set morality aside. I have no regrets. For those, I've led a double life. At least I can say, I've lived. Her ad was cinematic, brilliantly creative, as good as as anything in marketing or branding, and, and specifically so, just to sell you the idea of the PlayStation. Just this sense that here was something next level cool. And it was it was really radical. 